In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come together as God's family, we begin by asking God's forgiveness, for God is full of gentleness and compassion. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people. O oh God, who are prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh God, let all the nations praise you. Oh
the nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they now have disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word to, in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This beautiful gospel that we listen to today is about faith, and specifically the faith of a very powerful woman. Jesus has moved into the region of Tyre and Sidon. He has left the territory of the Jewish people and has entered into the territories of the Gentiles, the non-Jews. Here Jesus encounters a Canaanite woman, a foreigner, a non-Jew. And this woman faithfully, boldly calls out to Jesus, have pity on me, Lord, son of David. She pleads for Jesus to heal her daughter, who we're told 
is severely possessed by a demon. At first, it seems Jesus is ignoring the woman who has come to her in her grief. St. Augustine said of Jesus' reaction, Christ showed himself indifferent to her, not in order to refuse her his mercy, but to inflame her desire for it. Jesus responds, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Strange, because a little earlier in Matthew's Gospel, we hear of an encounter with Jesus and a Roman soldier, the centurion, who came to plead with Jesus for healing for his sick servant. After his encounter with this Gentile soldier, Jesus says, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. The desperate woman does not get discouraged, not even when Jesus says, it's not fair to take the children's bread and to give it to the dogs. Dogs were a pejorative term that Jews used for Gentiles. The woman still didn't give up. She was not looking to take anything from anyone. She was asking for healing for her daughter. And Jesus is touched by her humility and simplicity when she said she would take the scraps and crumbs that fell from the table. We see a woman who must have had a tremendous inner strength, a woman of maternal love who's able to overcome every obstacle, searching for healing for her daughter. This gospel speaks of the strength of women, the great privilege to give life, to fight and protect life, to nurture, heal, and guide lives. In the gospel, we see Jesus' extraordinary respect for women, treating women as equals, eating and socializing with them over and over again. In the gospels, in such a male-dominating society, Jesus recognizes the dignity of women, their desires and their gifts. In response to her perseverance, Jesus says in admiration, O woman, great is your faith, Let it be done for you as you wish. And at that moment, her daughter was healed. This woman of unwavering faith is a great example for us. It shows us how we shouldn't get discouraged or despair. Jesus doesn't turn away from our needs, and so we need to trust. Like this pagan woman, we need to be persistent in our prayer, trusting that we shall always get an answer often one that is better than what we ask for. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Strengthened in faith, we come before the Lord with our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters. For the church, that realizing the Lord's presence in our midst may give us courage as we work together to build the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those listening for God's voice as they discern their vocation, that they may know the Lord's presence and trust in God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us as we struggle to recognize God's presence in our lives, that we may find good counsel and encouragement from our parish community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who are ill and who are suffering the consequences of the current pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are dear to us who have passed, especially Rita Sardos, Katie Devanyakin, Anthony Police, Margaret Valentine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our president, elected leaders, public servants, legislators, judges, those in the military, law enforcement, members of our diplomatic corps, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the health care workers as they continue to try and fight this pandemic and to save lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, give us faith and courage to cope with the storms in our lives. May we find refuge in your Son who stretches out his hand for strength and support. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathered together is God's family. We pray in the words Jesus himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lord Jesus Christ. Lamb of God, you Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Break the bread of true communion.